Hey everybody, welcome back to the Mining Data Analytics Series with Blockware Intelligence. This is the third episode and today we're going to be covering all things difficulty. If this is your first time to this channel, do me a favor and hit subscribe. Also like this video if you want to see more Mining Data Analytics videos. But let's go ahead and kick, kick this off. Here is a quick chart, if you've never seen one, of Bitcoin mining difficulty. All the metrics that I'm going to cover are going to be based off this this metric right here difficulty so let's get into these three different metrics the first one is mining difficulty bitcoin mining difficulty it's basically a relative measure of how difficult it is to mine a new block for the bitcoin blockchain and so the goal of the bitcoin network is to make new blocks come in every 10 minutes this is what keeps the predetermined algorithmic supply schedule on track, regardless of how many or few miners are joining the network. We have another metric called difficulty ribbon. This is, like I said, a derivative of difficulty. Uh, it is simple moving averages of Bitcoin mining difficulty. These moving averages occur over different time periods. We got 200 day, 128 day, all the way down to 14 day and they can be used to identify potential price bottoms if used in the difficulty ribbon compression metric and so what is the difficulty ribbon compression it's basically a market indicator that uses a normalized standard deviation to quantify compression of the difficulty ribbon so what what does that mean basically it means when the 200 day moving average and the 14 day moving average of difficulty are kind of converging and all of the other moving averages in between, this metric will compress and get a smaller value. And typically when this metric has a smaller value, as I'll show in, in the following slides, that historically has been a good time to, to buy Bitcoin. And so again, here is a long-term chart of Bitcoin mining difficulty. As you can see, this pretty much goes up and to the right forever on an exponential scale. And this is directly correlated with hash rate. So if you looked at a hash rate chart on a long time horizon, it would look very similar to this. So here is difficulty ribbon, which is what I mentioned a couple of slides ago. Here I highlighted four key historic areas when the difficulty ribbon kind of compressed and the you know shorter moving averages shorter time frame moving averages converged converged closer to the longer uh time frame moving averages so as you can see on the very left we have the 2018 minor capitulation this is when bitcoin crashed from 6000 uh, all the way down to 3000 and because of this crash many of the inefficient miners on the network were forced to turn their machines off simply because they were operating in an unprofitable way. Their costs were, were more than the Bitcoin they were mining. After that, we have the 2020 uh, crash. This was back when Bitcoin crashed uh, as public equities were falling at the same time. And Bitcoin fell like 50% in one day. It even reached the 3000 area for, you know, a couple, a couple seconds, at least maybe, maybe an hour or so, but you know, that crash caused miners to shut off their machines just because it was now unprofitable to be mining. After that, we have the May, 2020 having this doesn't have as much to do with price, but it does have to do with the block subsidy being cut in half. And so miners saw the block subsidy just cut literally cut in half and that was a large part of their revenue and so again we saw inefficient miners that that weren't prepared that were operating at high electricity costs uh, they had to shut off their machines and last we have the major mining event that happened over the past year we have the summer 2021 china mining ban this as you can see in the ribbon was a major uh adjustment in hash rate, uh, hash rate went significantly down and therefore difficulty went significantly down. And we saw the hash ribbon make uh, 
or this, this difficulty ribbon make an extreme uh, correction here. Last, we have the difficulty ribbon compression metric. This um, is, is a very interesting metric and it can be used to actually identify potential price bottoms in Bitcoin. And so, like I said, this occurs when the difficulty ribbon, for example, here on the last page, when all of these lines, these moving averages of difficulty converge very closely together. And so the lower this metric goes, the more difficulty has been the same over those different time periods. And as you can see, this typically when it goes to a certain level marks a great opportunity to buy Bitcoin. And a lot of these are actually gonna be very correlated with the hash ribbon indicator um, metric as well. And I did a video on that um, a couple of weeks ago. But as you can see, you know, all of these different green lines that I went ahead and identified on this chart is when difficulty ribbon is compressing in, the, in a very extreme way. So yes, that was basically, you know, a quick overview of difficulty. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you have any more questions or any more mining metrics you want me to cover, feel free to leave it in the comments, reach out on Twitter, and yeah, just let me know.